Welcome back to Dan's On Fandoms. I'm Dan. With the birth of Luke Skywalker and Leia Organa, Yoda and Obi-Wan worked to protect both children from their Jedi turned Sith Lord father, Anakin Skywalker, and his Sith Master, Darth Sidious. These two children were viewed as Jedi learners in waiting by Yoda and Obi-Wan, and the twin siblings would go on to be vital in the dismantling of the Galactic Empire and in defeating Darth Sidious. But which one did Master Yoda hope he could train, and why? By the time of a new hope, with the Galactic Empire and the Sith main maintaining a stranglehold on the galaxy, Yoda had been relegated to self-imposed exile on Dagobah. Gone were the days where he was able to train a new generation of Jedi. At least that's what he thought. As Luke, Leia, and their band of ragtag rebels were setting in motion the events leading to the destruction of the first Death Star in A New Hope, Yoda had begun yearning to take on one more Padawan. And interestingly enough, Yoda did not wish to train Luke. Instead, Yoda hoped to train another Skywalker strong in the Force, that being Princess Leia Organa of Alderaan. During his time in exile, there were few things that brought Yoda as much joy as dwelling on Leia realizing and developing her strength in the Force, as well as him thinking about the potential for her bringing the galaxy into a new age of hope. The 2017 canon novel, From a Certain Point of View, is an anthology of 40 short stories and provides a look at the events of A New Hope, but from the vantage point of background characters or characters who didn't have major roles in the film's plot. The short story, There is Another, shows Yoda Yoda traveling from his hut in the uplands of Dagobah to his hut in the lowlands of Dagobah, hoping to escape the sweltering heat that soon will grip the uplands. During his journey, we get an inside look at Yoda's thoughts as he travels from the uplands of the planet to the lowlands. Additionally, readers also get scenes where Yoda is able to sense through the Force both Obi-Wan and Darth Vader, their duel on the Death Star, as well as Obi-Wan's demise. It's a stellar story and one I'd highly recommend. After having arrived at his hut in the lowlands, and with several days having passed from when Obi-Wan had become one with the Force, the story sees the former Jedi Master appear before Yoda as a Force ghost for the first time. Obi-Wan sought to persuade Yoda to take on one more Padawan, specifically Luke Skywalker, after having seen firsthand the strength in the Force that Luke had already possessed. Yoda, however, did not initially see eye to eye with Obi-Wan, instead informing Obi-Wan that he much preferred to train Leia, and for several reasons. For one, Yoda wondered if Leia could be the one to turn Anakin back towards the light side of the Force, as well as help restore balance in the Force. Additionally, Yoda believed that Leia's strength, will, and clarity had the markings of a great Jedi, whereas Luke was unruly, inattentive, and headstrong. Because of this, Obi-Wan had to tirelessly watch over Luke and protect him. Furthermore, Yoda worried that, with Obi-Wan now dead and not able to fully train Luke, Luke's impatience and anger would be two hurdles in his path in becoming a Jedi Knight, as these were traits also seen in Anakin. Yoda also informed Obi-Wan that he believed Luke wasn't ready to become a Jedi, that Luke wouldn't fully be committed to the task, and that he was reckless. In Yoda's mind, he believed that Leia was the opposite of Luke, and that she was ready to take on the challenge of training to be a Jedi Knight. But Obi-Wan persisted and continued to work on convincing Yoda that Luke should indeed train to become a Jedi. Before Yoda would agree to train Luke, however, he asked asked Obi-Wan what would happen if he failed to adequately train the boy, and Obi-Wan simply replied, I seem to remember an old master of mine who liked to say something about trying. It was then that Yoda agreed to take on Luke as an apprentice, telling Obi-Wan to send Luke to him on Dagobah. Soon, Luke would travel to the swampy planet, seek out Yoda, and continue on his path of becoming a Jedi Knight. For Leia, however, it wouldn't be until after the events of Return of the Jedi that she would begin to train with her brother Luke and start down the path of becoming a Jedi Knight. But would you have liked to have seen Yoda train Leia? And if so, why? Let us know down in the comments. Want more Star Wars content? Check out some of our other videos. Please like and subscribe, and stay nerdy.